Damien McBride was once a trusted advisor to the Labour Party, but now he's been branded a traitor. Gordon Brown's former spin doctor has stolen the limelight from the party conference by publishing his memoirs, detailing political backstabbing when Labour was in power. In it, he admits leaking to the newspapers details of the private lives of some of Mr Brown's rivals. He says, drug use, spousal abuse, secret alcoholism, extramarital affairs. Yes, some of them ended up on the front pages of Sunday newspapers. He also admits accessing Gordon Brown's emails without permission, saying, I'd log into the Chancellor's office email system and hunt through the folders for cabinet papers or minutes of cabinet meetings. Mr McBride also hints that current Labour leader Ed Miliband may have sent emails to a party official plotting to discredit opponents, something Mr Miliband vehemently denies. Mr McBride was forced to resign in 2009 for his part in a plot to discredit senior Tories. But it seems, even four years on, the damage he caused is still being felt. Damien McBride, you're the Godfrey Bloom of Labour, aren't you? He hijacked the UKIP party conference and you've done exactly the same to the uh, party you say you love. Why? Well, I hope I haven't. I think uh, Miliband made a very successful speech today. Ed Balls did so yesterday. And, uh, you know, I think ultimately it will be the announcements in those speeches that will make the difference to people and how they vote at the next election, not uh, anything they've read in my book. Well, maybe not. I mean, it's taken up a, a lot of headlines. Why launch it now when you could choose any month of the year? Well, that was really a decision for the publishers and the uh, newspaper that decided to serialise it. The bigger decision I had to take was when to publish the book at all. Did you thought... try to move the date then? I mean, you, you have some say in it, surely? Uh, not really. I think once you've signed a contract with publishers, they will tend to say, we will publish this at a time that is of maximum value to us. Okay. And uh, that will tend to be party conference time. You're adamant that Gordon Brown knew nothing about the nasty stuff you were getting up to, the stuff you now say you're ashamed of. Are you mm. sticking to that? Yes, totally. And we're talking about a very small number of individual stories which would really fit in that category of, you know, the really nasty stuff, the really gutter stuff uh, that, that I'm ashamed of. There was a sort of whole series of other things that I did which were much more low level and in some ways would, you know, never reach, reach Gordon's attention. At no point did he say, Damien, I don't know what you're getting into here, but just stop it. There were a couple of occasions where uh, I was involved in things, I'd been accused of things, and what Gordon would tend to say then is, you know, this better not be true. And, uh, you know, what I would tend to say, well, frankly, I'd, I'd mislead him a bit and say, and say, well, I don't know what they're talking about. If, if I'd been sort of accused of something that I had been responsible for, often I was accused of things that I hadn't done, and I would say exactly the same thing to him. OK, well, let's uh, show you some tape now of uh, Gordon Brown, who's been uh, facing some questions today. Mr Brown, can I just talk to you about Damien McBride's book? Mr Brown, will you condemn what Damien McBride did on your behalf? Mr Brown? Mr Brown, was Damien McBride acting with your permission? Mr Brown, was Ed Miliband involved in the smearing of political rivals? He's obviously uh, not commenting, but does he deserve this, what, what you're putting him through here? I think he's probably very angry to get that level of questioning, as he was in April 2009. He's where... probably angry about your book. No, 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 and the questioning that that book has prompted, of course, uh, that's, that's what would be uh, irritating him. We've seen in the book that you admit to accessing emails and uh, getting government documents out there. How concerned are you that you're going to get a knock on the door from the police? I'm confident that I did nothing wrong. There's a bit of a misunderstanding, for instance, around the emails. Uh, everyone that worked in Gordon's private office had access to his... Uh, if you like, sort of official folders and calendars and that sort of thing, so that we could keep track of what what was sort of coming in and going out. And uh, you know, those were the, you know, so I had official permission to be you know looking at those sort of documents. When you were working for Gordon Brown, you were being paid out of taxpayers' money. You say you're ashamed of uh, a lot of what you did now. Will you pay any of that money back? I don't think anyone in government worked harder than I did. Over, over the period that I worked in government. I was on call 24-7 for 365 days of the year. You, you earned it, did you? You deserved it. Well, what I'm saying is I'm, I'm very ashamed of this, the fact that I let myself down with the 5 or 10% of the job, which, uh, you know, over time, and to my great shame, became devoted to, you know, doing this kind of underhand operations. OK, Damien McBride, thank you.